Hello, today we're going to see IndyCar. So, I'm getting ready. So today is Friday, which is mostly just practice day. But I don't know how often other tracks or other races do this, but for the Toronto race, the Friday is free. So you don't buy tickets for Friday, which means anybody could come, which is nice because I think my friend is gonna come because she like does not care about cars um, or racing, but I think I convinced her to come. And it's also nice because it means you can walk around anywhere and you can sit literally wherever you want. My goal today is to walk around as much as I can, see as many viewpoints as I can, and decide if I want to get the same seats I have this year, next year. Ignore this, I can't put it on right, so just ignore it. But this year I upgraded my seat, so I get, uh, well I didn't upgrade my seats, I upgraded my ticket to Champions Club, which means I get to go in the paddock and do the, like a grid walk, so, and a few other things, so I'm really excited about that. I like never do ponytails, but I think I'm gonna have to because I don't want to be so hot. Okay guys, I'm ready to go. I finally got my hair up, I've got my ticket got my bag stuffed to the brim poncho lip balm sunscreen wallet charger anything you can think of really i have just need to get my water bottle and then i think i'm good to go as soon as i got to the track on friday i spent a lot of time looking around the paddock i was enjoying seeing all of the cars up close it was really cool to see them putting the cars together because really that's what you're paying for when you're paying for like the paddock pass or what Chana calls it is the champions club you get a few other things but really you're paying to get into the paddock and it is so worth it i spent a lot of time around the mclaren hospitality because that's my favorite team i also poked around at all the other teams and took all of the hero cards i could which i will show you later you also really get to see the drivers like when i tell you that this is literally like the paddock it literally is the drivers come in and out and you get to see them when i went outside for practice i decided to try out all of the seats as i mentioned i would earlier my seat is at the start of turn 11 in the start of the longest grandstand i decided that it's actually my favorite seat i also sat on the other side of turn 11 not my favorite it doesn't give you as much view of the pits and also doesn't help you see the start finish line at the far end of turn 11 i sat there as well again it doesn't help you see the start finish line and it does not help you see the pits better I sat in turn 3 as well, which is cool because it's a great overtaking place, but I enjoy seeing the pits. Turn 11 is cool, it gives you a different view of the pits, but I just personally enjoyed turn 11 the most. Then after practice, I stayed in, got to sign the start-finish line as part of the champion club I bought. This was cool, but this is not really what you're paying for. You're paying for the paddock pass, and it is so worth it in my opinion. So I'm home now. I have most excitingly guys i literally found this on the floor i found it plain on the floor and then i found another one i found two plain on the floor i took them fast and i sat my butt waiting outside the mclaren hospitality because i knew autograph i missed autograph signing i was too late but i knew it was going to be over so i was waiting for Pat to come back and he did it. i got them signed and i got one for my sister too I also got plain ones of Nolan Siegel, but I saw him, but he like looked like he didn't want to talk to people. So I couldn't find one of Rossi, which sucks, but I did see Rossi. I saw Rossi multiple times. I was waiting outside of McLaren and all of a sudden he was there and I turned around and I said, oh my God, Alex, I love your podcast. And he said, thank you. And then he went away. And then unfortunately he crashed and broke his thumb. So he won't be able to race. And so there'll be a replacement driver, but we don't know who yet. Anyways, I also got a VK, a Ray Hall, Fittipaldi, Lungard, and Rasmussen, but they're all plain, but I also got each of those for my sister as well. I couldn't find any of the Ganassi ones or Penske ones, which sucks because they would have been fun to have, but whatever, maybe I'll get some tomorrow. And I got this hat. I'm so excited about this hat. I love this hat. I think this weekend I'll still wear my Pado hat because I got to support him. But this will be cute to wear in life. So I'm very happy. I had literally the best day ever. And we got to sign the thing and I wrote it so ugly. But whatever. I don't care. I still had a great day. Hello, it's Saturday now. Which means it's qualifying day. So I'm getting ready to go. My sister's coming today. And so is my dad. But he's going to come a little bit later because he has an appointment. Whatever. So big news overnight. <laughs> Teo Pochar is, well, I guess not overnight, but this morning. Teo Pochar is currently flying from France to Toronto <laughs> to fill in for Alexander Rossi. 
I kind of knew in my heart that that was what's gonna happen but I didn't once I knew he was in France I didn't think he was gonna come over I'm excited for that though I did want to see Teo race and I was sad I wasn't gonna be able to see Teo race and I'm also sad I'm not gonna see Alex race but whatever he is not there for the practice session neither am I so he's just gonna get in a car and do qualifying on a circuit he's never done before that's whack his flight doesn't even land until like 12.50 apparently and qualifying starts at 2.45. On Saturday when I got down, I looked around the paddock a little bit, but I got there kind of late. So I just rushed to get something to eat and got over to my seat. Quality day is so much fun. It kind of might be my favorite day. I don't know. It's just fun to see everybody go fast. Duh. I also will recommend if you're going to an IndyCar race and you don't have like a big timing stand like um toronto doesn't i recommend you get the indycar app it really helps you see you can it syncs up live and then it lets you see actually who's in one position this is very helpful during qualifying and the race qualifying is not so bad because after each session they will tell you who was where and who is moving on but especially during the race it is like impossible to keep track especially as people come out of the pits people are lapped the indycar app is a savior i swear then after qualifying, we went back into the paddock to look around at everybody getting unpacked for the day. It's actually crazy because every single day they build and unbuild the cars. And that's just crazy to me that literally like you saw before practice, they were building up the cars. And then after qualifying, they're taking them away. And this is where we saw Colton Herta right after he got pulled. My sister wanted to see him because he's her favorite. And as she said that, he literally just skirted past us. And that was like just like kind of the highlight of my day, like him on his way to the press conference. It's race day! Ah, I'm so excited. So I never vlogged when I got home yesterday because I was tired. Yesterday was fun. I had a great time. My sister got her hat signed by Pato, so that was very fun. And Colton Hurd is on pole, which is exciting because he's one of my sister's favorite drivers. And then she was like, oh, I want to see Colton. So he like walked over to Andretti in the paddock. And as we were walking over there, he just zips by us on like a little moped type thing to go to the press conference or whatever. So I was like, okay, that's cool beautiful anyways today we get to do a grid walk that is so much fun that is so much fun we didn't go as early as we could have and honestly we should have gone there a bit earlier because there is a big line as i was getting into the grid walk though we saw some of the drivers getting in the cars to go around the track for driver intro so that was cool alex pillow waved at me shout out to him he was the only one who did what i have to say about the grid walk it is so much fun you feel like you're literally in everybody's ways but and you feel bad because you're like you're literally about to like drive a race car and you're the pit crew and I'm in your way. But that's just kind of how it is. It is very cool to see everybody just so chill. I'm like, if I was about to like do a race, I'd be like shaking. How are you so calm? To me, this is equally as cool as being in the paddock. But for Toronto, it is part of the same Champions Club ticket. So that is very nice. I just also think it's crazy that you can even do this. Like, why are you like, what if I tampered with the car? I wouldn't, but like I could. Anyways, because we got in sort of the back of the line, we didn't have enough time to make it all the way back to the grid, but I still had fun just seeing the cars. Then time for the actual race. I mostly only recorded the starts and restarts, but it was very fun. It was cool to see all of the people making up time in the pits. A lot of, there wasn't a ton of overtakes. There was a pretty good amount, but like it's a street course, like it's tight, there's not gonna be any time. So it was cool to see like Pato and Alex Blow make their way all the way up until unfortunately Pato had that bad crash that I was happy happened where I couldn't see it. I just saw it on the screen. That was bad. That was not fun to see, but I'm happy everybody's okay. It was also during this red flag that I checked my phone and looked at my email and I got an email from the New York Times saying that Biden had dropped out of the presidential race. So that was crazy and very memorable. And then Colton Herta won, which I was so happy to see because he hasn't won in quite some time. And it was cool to see him do donuts and be excited. That's two years in a row we had exciting wins with Christian Lingard and then Colton Herta, which was a first win and then a first win in a long time. So I'm just very happy to see that. I didn't go to the podium, but I did end up seeing Colton on the podium on my way out. And overall, I had a really great weekend. I can't wait to go to more IndyCar races. I don't have any in the plans right now, but hopefully I'll go to more next year. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you when I post another video.